Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. One of the things that I did a lot of in the early 80s was playing Atari. One day in 1983, I was looking at an issue of Marvel's The Adventures of Kool-Aid Man. And on the back cover was an ad for the new Atari Kool-Aid Man video game. Atari games were somewhat expensive, so my family would only get a new one every so often. So when I found out that you only had to save up 125 Kool-Aid points to get the game, I was pretty excited. I drank Kool-Aid every day, and I probably had already saved up 125 points. The General Foods Company, who sold Kool-Aid, had the cartridge programmed by the M Network Company, who mostly released Atari versions of Intellivision games. The game starts with Kool-Aid Man crashing through the wall. Your enemies are the Thirsties, who use their straws to try to drink all the water out of the swimming pool. If you touch them when they're not drinking, you lose control for a moment. You can also become Kool-Aid Man, which makes you invincible by picking up sugar, water, or Kool-Aid. Each level has a time limit, so you have to act fast. The game ends when all of the water is gone from the swimming pool. I played Kool-Aid Man a lot, and my high score book shows that I once achieved a score of 67,900 points. Another game that you got by sending in labels was Chase the Chuck Wagon. This game was programmed by the company Spectrovision, and you got it by sending in proof of purchases from Purina Dog Food. In this game, you control Chucky the dog. You have somewhere between 30 to 60 seconds to get through the maze to the chuck wagon at the top. There's a dog catcher running around who can take away one of your three lives. And there's a bone or a dog or a piece of kibble that can freeze you and decrease your score. When you make it through a maze, you get a chance to feed Chucky. If you press the joystick button at just the right moment, you catch the dish of food. Eat up, Chucky. You accumulate points very slowly in this game, so scores don't get very high. My high score is 1,256. We also have Tooth Protectors, which was only available by sending in labels to the Johnson & Johnson Company. In this game, you protect a row of teeth by holding dental floss above your head. A snack attacker is throwing squares of snacks that you bounce back and try to destroy him with. Occasionally, and unexpectedly, the snack attacker drops down to try to catch you. You have to act fast or lose a man. If you let the snack squares hit the teeth too many times, eventually the teeth will decay and disappear. If the teeth are in danger, you have a few cleanups. By pressing the fire button, you can send out a toothbrush dental floss, and dental rinse to save the teeth. I was able to score 47,000 points on tooth protectors. Some of you out there may know that tooth protectors and Chase the Chuck Wagon are very rare games. And since my family didn't get these in 1983 when they came out, we were fortunate to pick them up later. By the late 80s, a lot of people were getting rid of their Ataris. My parents would often go to rummage sales and pick up any cartridges that we didn't have, including these, for as little as 50 cents each. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the promotional Atari games today. If you did, don't forget to click the like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube.